everybody welcome to my channel Ashley's Treasure and I have another haul to share with you. I've been trying to get some of the clearance paper pads from Hobby Lobby since they've been on sale but I went too early where they didn't even have theirs yet. They weren't going to start until this week and so um, I wasn't able to start to get there till Tuesday like 10 minutes before they closed and they were already pretty wiped out. I was a little bummed out because there were some specific ones that I wanted. But I'm still glad with what I was able to get. Um, I was going to show you some like stickers and stuff that I found. And then I'll show you the paper pads that I got. First I got this washi tape. Which is like black and craft color. And I like the thin to it. Um, I love these stripes and everything. I'll definitely use this. and Because um, I use black and white ones like this a lot. And it was on clearance from $5.99 for $1.49. So I thought why not. And then I got some of the dimensional stickers. Um, these ones were $4.99 and I got them for $1.24. And some of them were $3.99 that were for $1.24 too. Um, I got these animal ones and I didn't realize they had glitter on it. But uh, I thought this would go with some of the baby albums. They had really cute animals, especially that elephant. So yeah, it's got a panda, a fox, a koala, a little deer, a bunny, and an elephant. And I found this little one, which I thought was kind of cute. It was different in all the colors. It has some of that glitter on it as well. But it has this giraffe, and it has like actual like string coming out as hair, as the zebra, which was really cool and different. See it on his tail too, and just the dimension was really cool. So use that for like a kids album. And then um, I found these animals as well, and some of them are like it looks like glittery acetate or glossy accent is what I mean. It looks like they got like glossy accent on it, and it even has these rocks here and. Got this cute rhino and elephant and lion and crocodile for a dollar forty or dollar twenty four. And then I really liked these ones. I ended up getting two of them. Were the zoo animals? I really liked the design to them. And I didn't realize till I got home that um, they you see that like kind of shine to it. It's kind of unique, and it's like on acetate too. Here, I'll try opening one up. But it's got like unique stuff. I don't know what that is. But it gives it kind of like a metallic look. But they got a lion. And you can see that clear stuff. It's on acetate. But it's got a lion, a rhino, a really cool elephant, giraffe, um, tigers, and a monkey. And we like going, well we used to before COVID, go to the zoo a lot. And so I thought I could use these for scrapbooking and albums. And since I liked them so much, I ended up getting two, and since they were only $1.24. And then um, I found this wedding one, which I know um, in my last haul from Hobby Lobby, I got those um, paper craft kits. And there was a wedding one that was a lot like this. And so I thought I could get more embellishments to go off with it. They have these sparkly hearts that are on like clear acetate. Um, have these really cute lollipops with this little bow on here, which is really cool. It's got this clear like acetate on top of this wood. It says save the day. Um, got these presents, pictures, typewriter, like a present. All these bowls, just so cool. And I've never seen dimensional ones with acid, so much acetate, but it's got some of that rose gold foil that goes with all the collections. And these little hearts fell off, which has like no stick on it, so I don't know how that was sticking on there. And then I got this really fun one, and um, it had this cheetah in here, and because I went and got the paper pads first, and then I went through these stickers, and I saw one of the paper pads that had this in there, so I went back to get it, and... That's when they announced that it was now 8 o'clock and they were closing. So I just, I hurried up and left because I couldn't find where it was at because I know there was one of those, which I'm a little bummed out, but that's okay. I um, also have um, 
the bigger stickers that are, um, they look like die cuts, the stickability ones, which has some of these, especially that one and that one I know of, and the sloth and the llama. So they do have some glitter on them, which is really cute. And they see they got that acetate on there. They're just so cute. There's the llama, you know, that little hedgehog, koala, a cheetah, and look at that gorgeous elephant. You know, got so much different things going on. And then I also love this little, like, um, banner going on, but with, like, little tassels going off, which has all the fun colors in it. It was so cute. I did end up getting a paper pad, which I think this can go with. And then I found this dinosaur space one, which was just too funny. I could not, like, not get it. I have to use this for, like, scrapbooking, um, pictures of my son because he loves dinosaurs. And these ones were out of outer space, and they were just so awesome. And look, the helmets are like glossy accent, and like the stars and stuff. They got like a stegosaurus, apatosaurus, pterodactyl. Looks like a bronchiosaurus or something in the spaceship with his tail sticking out. Blast off a T Rex, dressed up as an astronaut, and then this Triceratops jumping through these rings, some planets. And dinosaur with a rocket ship as the eye. I just, I love the colors and everything in here. I had to get those for $1.49. And then I also found this for 99 cents. These really fun little space stickers. And they do have some texture to it. If you can kind of see, although the glare. Um, but I thought these were really cute to go with these little dino ones. And I didn't realize it until I got home that these are, like, reusable ones. They're removable. Like, you can put it, like, on anything and then, you know, put them back on. Like, here, someone's got it on, like, a coffee mug. Which I thought was really cool. Granted, I don't plan on, like, reusing them. I plan on having it on paper and then just stay in there. But I liked the colors and the spaceships and stuff. And then um, in the gems, I saw that there were these dinosaur ones. It has lightning bolts and then dinosaurs. And they had at least two green dinosaurs, which is my son's favorite. So I definitely had to get them. And they were only 62 cents. But they are so cute. Got two yellow, two green, and then four um, lightning bolts. And then they got just these like um, clear gems, three of those. And I saw this like ocean theme one and I really liked it and it had this uh, bluish teal color foil in it. It was just so pretty. It was only 74 cents. It was originally um, $2.99 and they're those puffy stickers. Normally I don't get puffy ones, but I don't know. I was really drawn to these ones. Find your happy place, anchors, you know, it's got a bunch of different like seashells and birds. Got all these really pretty fishes. Take a walk. I just, yeah, I had to get those. And then um, I seen these for a while that was there. Um, these are originally $2.99 and for 99 cents. And I saw this one last time I was there and I didn't get it. But this time I thought I might as well there was one left. And it's like that dark, you know, kind of like a navy blue, dark blue. And I always loved, you know, having these like this. And I sometimes use just little sections and whatnot. Um, I actually used one, but it was like pearls, I think it was, in my um, scrapbook process video. But these are always really handy. And I don't have a blue one like this. And for only 99 cents, I thought that wasn't too bad. And then I stumbled upon these, which were so adorable. They're these dimensional stickers. And first I saw this mermaid one, and they're only $1.24, originally $4.99. But look at those. This is like on um, wood. And then they got like this fabric, and you know, they're all like stitched on there and stuff. And she's got little earrings. I just thought she was so adorable to put on a cover. And then I saw this butterfly one, and I couldn't say no to it. It was just so pretty. Here, I'll take it out. And it's got these sequins, and look, the wings go up. Whoa, look at that. It's got that, like, holographic kind of to it. It's just so pretty. So you can kind of, like, have the wings, like, perked up. But, yeah, I'll definitely have to put this, like, on an album or something. 
just the work in it. They were just so pretty. So got a butterfly and then the mermaid. And then I got a couple of the 6x6. Six six. They were pretty much all wiped out on these, which was a bummers, because they're only $2.99 for 60 sheets, which is cheaper than the ones in Tuesday morning. Even when they were, tw they used to be like 24 pages for $2.99, and then they went to $3.99, and then they went up to, what was it, like $5.99 for the 48 sheets. So this is awesome, but... um yeah, they were pretty much all wiped out. They only had a couple left. And apparently I ended up grabbing two of this one and I didn't realize it. But this is like a Christmas theme one. It is called um, Poppies and Pines. You've probably already seen this one. It is one-sided and there's 20 designs. So there's a lot, three of each. Yeah, there's three of each. The cover's kind of starting to come off here. But I'll just do a quick flip through because you've probably already seen these. And you can see the um, texture to the paper. These ones are a little bit thicker than the individual sheets that they sell. yeah so that was worth um $2.99 so I'll use this for making Christmas cards and I got two of them so I'm good on that for sure next I got this one lol which is kind of weird that this one was $3.49 um originally it was $9.99 compared to these ones they're originally $11.99 yet you get these ones cheaper than this one and this one's got 60 sheets and this one has 60 sheets as well so that's kind of weird they should have marked that down less than that but um yeah I, the only reason why i got this one was because again those um paper craft kits that i got for $2.99 that are originally $9.99 um i got this one so i thought this would give me more paper to go off from and i can make mini six by six because there's so much embellishments and stuff with it There was green camo in here, which I thought was kind of random. It was kind of looked like um, appliques. You know, you would like iron on. That's what it reminds me of. So I got that for $3.49. And then I was glad I was able to find these. There was only one of each left was these baby ones that are 8x8. Um, originally $11.99 and I got them both for $2.99. They only had one boy and one girl left. I do have the um, 
paper craft kits of both of these. So this is awesome that I'll have more to go off from and I got more embellishments from those to work on with these. Um, so I'll show you the boys. So they got these scallops on it, these blue scallops, which is in the paper craft kit. Get two of those, these are thinner. Um, it's got some onesie, onesies hanging and some teddy bears. It's got stripes with all the colors in it. Some banners. I'm trying to do it this way. Some blue hearts. Some yellow gingham. And then some sayings. Welcome, precious little one, baby, newborn, and your um, arrival. Congrats. Um, blue with white spots. Some rubber duckies. I love this plaid. It has all the colors in it. And then green with a green swirl on it. Some bows, which are really cute. I love this one with the uh, plaid. This one's green with all the little things on here. Bottles, rattles, blocks, teddy, rubber duckies. Some safety pins. The hot air balloons, that's in the kit. And then it comes with um, extra things. Yeah, these ones are like really thick stickers. Um, it's got the alphabet. And they're blue with blue spots, which is in the kit as well. Um, these ones were really cool, these little green ones. It has a lot more in here, and it does have some numbers in here. And they're that thick stickers as well. And then it has all of these stickers that are thick as well and then it's got these um, thinner stickers or actually um, they're not stickers they're like pop outs embellishments that just pop out so it's got a lot to work with and these ones pop out as well so it's even more embellishment is the other the ones from the kit is pretty big so it's nice having these ones that are smaller and then there's one more so there's three sheets of stickers and three sheets of these embellishments that pop out. Um, it says, baby, angel, cute, sweet, some stars, a new arrival, hello baby, story time, and so loved. All these onesies, little boy, let's snuggle, cutie pie, worth the wait, new to the crew, some really cute dinosaurs. You know, these little parts you can journal in to date. So yeah, that's definitely worth $2.99 for an 8x8. Eight eight. And then this is the girls. Same concept. And then here it has the stickers again. See, it's got the light pink on pink. The alphas. I think you only, well, you get a couple. You get two A's. It's kind of hard because they're all scattered everywhere. But it looks like you get at least one of each letter, maybe. Maybe not. So you get that. And then you get circles. But this one is white gingham with the pink letters on it and numbers. These are all lowercase. And then all these stickers, chipboard stickers. So cute. Sorry about the glare, I'm trying. Showered with love. And then um, he's, these are the punch outs. A very special delivery. A little peanut. Girl, 
same, a lot of the same embellishments from the um, cut apart, but smaller, which will come in handy. And instead of dinosaurs, this one's got flowers here. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. So yeah, that's definitely worth the $2.99. And then with the 12 by 12, um, I end up getting this one, the floor mix. I liked all the flowers in here. Um, this one was marked down for $5.49. You've probably seen it from other people hauling it. Of course, they're one-sided. They're thicker than, you know, their individual sheets like they normally have. But, um, I swear I've seen, like, fabric like this with this design on it. But it's really pretty. Lots of different flowers. I think you get three of each. Yeah, you get three of each. Um, this yellow plaid going on, which is really cool. It almost looks gold. Yeah, you should have three of each, but uh, apparently I end up getting four of this yellow plaid one, which is kind of cool. Um, these really pretty pink flowers on this teal. I this nice design. Lots and lots of flowers. Love this one. Some little flowers are like navy and white on this like mustard yellow. I love this one. Cause it looks like it's like on fabric. I love that light blue on there. Some pink gingham. This one was really cute. I love this color of these flowers. Cause it's not completely pink. It's got a little bit of coral to it kind of, but it's on a white with black little polka dots. And if you don't like that, you can always fussy cut them out. So I could have a lot of embellishment in here. Um, some teal stripes. Some more flowers. I don't know if you could see, but in like a little bit lighter, they got all these flowers and like the stems going off. This one's really pretty. And then it's like cream background with light pink polka dots. This one's really pretty. Some yellow. More pink flowers on a darker teal this time. And this is kind of like an off-white too, more of a creamy color. See how creamy that is compared to white with the pink little flowers. And then some pink plaid. And then a cluster of flowers. It's like, I think it's more navy. And then it's got blue dots on them. And that's it for that one. This will be great for cards. Or if you just need embellishment for um, scrapbooking or albums, that's great too. And then um, this one's called Vacay Vibe for $5.49 and I thought that these ones could go with it because all the bright colors. Granted it's not the original one that went with this one because I couldn't find it when I went back really quick but didn't have time but it's got like flamingos and stuff in here so I, I've got some of the same colors. I think I can make them work. But um, this is the same way. 60 sheets, 20 designs so you get three of each. I um, got these palm trees on pink. And if you don't want that, you can always fussy cut them out. And this is like kind of like the same paper, a little bit thicker. It does have a tad bit of texture to it, which feels nice. I don't know if you can see that texture to it. They're not like smooth. I like this whole watercolor look with fun, bright colors. All this looks like it's kind of done like it was a painting with all these bright colors. Um, some fun polka dots. This would be great for doing a birthday um, album or a scrapbook layout for a birthday because it looks like all colorful balloons. Some pretty flowers with all the bright colors. And then it's kind of got that blue and red like paint stri stripes. And then got these really bright colored um, palm trees which looks really cool looks like they were kind of like stamped on and you could fussy cut some of these out if you want to use them as embellishments but that was really cool and then i love this one it's like painting of waves which is so cool some adorable pineapples love that and i do like this teal background 
easy to find pineapples. And then this was really cool. It kind of made me think of that, um, what do you call that, alcohol ink. I want to show you this. Good job, buddy. You colored this? Yeah. Look what my son just did. And he wanted to show me. He did such a good job. He did so good staying in the lines. He did a dragon. Good job, buddy. High five. I love it. Way to go. Sorry, that was just so adorable. And I thought he did such a good job. But yeah, this looks like that alcohol ink kind of in a way with all the different colors. It's just different. I really liked it. And then this is really pretty. Normally, you know, always have the palm trees or leaves in um, green, but this time it's in this really nice blue. And the background isn't quite white, white. I don't know. It's kind of off white or it almost looks like it has like a light um, lavender to it. White lilac or something. Some fun stripes with all those fun colors. Definitely looks like watercolor. Some pretty flowers, some spots, messy spots. These colorful pineapples, so cute. Um, this looks like cheetah prints, but in blue. That is awesome. This would be great to use for going to the zoo with my son. Using this for that and scrapbook about that. Being blue, being boys colors, blues and greens. It's hard finding, you know, boys things. It's easier finding girls than boys. And then look at these flamingos and it's on yellow but it's got like some orange to it. You know some parts are more yellow here and more orange here. But those really are cute flamingos. Ooh look at this one. So pretty. So much colors. Ooh, and some green and teal stripes. Great for boys album. Or scrapbooking. Um, some umbrellas. And that's it for that one. So that is really cool. I'll definitely have to try making some albums out of this. And then um, I got one of the 12 by 12 sheets of the same Christmas themed one. The Poppies and Pines. This was the only Christmas one I had. Um, it's the same as the 6x6. So I'll just do a quick flip through. See, it's the same exact thing but bigger. I do love these because this goes with everything and it's great to have these borders if you do scrapbook layouts that have this around it so it can be used more than just Christmas. So it's definitely worth it. And then since I have the um, paper craft kit of this one, I end up getting the 12 by 12. It's fab and fearless. Um, if you want to look at that, it is in the um, last haul that I had. And then I went in details on them. Um, but yeah, this was originally $21.99 for $5.49. There's 20 designs, 60 sheets. So there's three of each again. And so this will give me extra paper to go off because I got so much embellishments to go with it. And this is, you know, pretty decent, you know, cardstock paper. Um, it's actually quite smooth. It doesn't really have texture on it. It reminds me of drawing, like, um, drawing paper, kind of. But it is smooth, but has like a tight, uh, a tad bit of tooth to it. But yeah, I like all those flowers. All these doggies. Is this supposed to be a chihuahua or something? It is so cute though. Look at all those different doggies. Some spots. And then all the girls. 
and I got the embellishment of these. Look at those girls. They're so fun. That one's walking a dog. <laughs> this one has a bunch of little sayings. This one is in the um, paper craft kit. And this one as well. It's got that light peachy pink gingham. Some pretty flowers. Some paint strokes, love this. Goes with everything. These fun leaves. Can fuss to cut some of them up as well. Looks like these ones got a little shadow behind. You can kind of see the darker green behind it. And then these little bursts of all the fun colors in here. That'd be good for um if you're doing like a circus theme or a birthday, you know, this would go good with that. And then here is this blue and gray marble look, which this was in the paper craft kit. This kind of looks like crackles or like kind of geometric, but in like paint strokes instead of perfectly straight, you know. Um, all these wall designs, this one was in the um, paper kit as well. And it's nice that this paper is a lot better quality than the ones that are in the kits. Some blue spots, some stripes, and then all the girls. I love these ones that are just chilling, having a picnic, drinking coffee together. I think those are my favorite. And then here she's walking a dog. She's got flowers. She's walking her dog too. They're just so cute. And then this one's got little plants on it. And then this has that brick, which is just like the New York City one, but um, the New York one has yellow in between it. This one has pink, which I really like. And then it has more marble over the gray, the gray and black. More really nice flowers on black. And that's it for that one. And then I found this dinosaur one. This one was originally $19.99 and I got it for $4.99. And this one actually has 80 sheets and there's 20 designs and it's boys and girls. And since my son over here loves dinosaurs, I just had to get it. So it has the same designs, but you know, then it goes boys and girls. See, here's the girls version. See, it has like pinks, purples. It's got some green in here. So cute. Just then. Um, this is the thin paper, kind of like the individual sheets that you get. You get four of each design in here. And then the boys' colors. I love this. Do you like this one? What's your favorite one out of here? T-Rex. <laughs> this final source is pretty cool. Thank you, let's do the course. And then here's like pinks and purple like plants for like the girls version and then this is the boys I like this one a lot more uh, I all like, the tropical plants uh, well, I like all of the pages <laughs> and then here's the girl color for footprints those are T-Rex footprints yep and then they got the boys which are shades of browns and then this looks like reptile skin in pink and then they got the boys in green. I love this. And then they got all these little dinosaurs and they got bows on a couple of them. They're so adorable. And the Tyrannodons don't end sources. Look, the um, Velociraptor has it on its head and the T-Rex has it on its tail. It's so cute. And then the boys. I like this one. It's pretty cool, huh? And then I love these plaids going on. I love this. This is like definitely my niece's like favorite colors are purple and green and gold. So and she used to like pink too. So I might have to use this for scrapbooking about her because I love this little splatter going on here. Well, it's like splat, 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 splat. And then they got the boys. I love this. <sighs> definitely using all of those. Yeah. I'm probably gonna hoard one of them. But yeah, I, I love that. I love the colors in here. It's screaming boys. I love the, it has the greens and the blues in there. And then it does have some browns, different shades of browns and gray in here. Love it. I like how it's not like the perfectly straight. It looks like paint strokes and the splatter. 
And then this one's the girls. This one has little dinos hatching out of the eggs with little bows on them and got little scratches. And then this is the boys. Ooh, they look like T-Rex because of their mouths. T-Rex or Velociraptors. Mm -hmm. And then this is a fun pink design. And then they have it in green for the boys with the, is it darker green? Yeah, it looks like a darker green line. Uh, and a white. And then this is the girls. And again, the um, Bronchiosaurus has little bows on its head. It's got little pink footprints. And then I do like, where's the Stegosaurus? Has green plaid on there. Or game on. So cute. And cute. And he has a bow. Yeah. And then this one's the boys. Love it. Uh -uh. What uh, dinosaur is this? Tyrannodon. And this one? Pterosaurus. Rossraptor. Brachiosaurus. T Rex. High five. And Stegosaurus. Oh, yep, and Stegosaurus. I didn't see that one. This one's really cool too. Although I kind of wish that the stegosaurus was the plaid on this one, but that's okay. I still like it. And they got gray footprints and scratches. And then this one's purple with white footprints. And it's got like dark purple and light purple. And then the boys is in green. And I think that's it on that one. Yes. So this is going to be so fun making a boys versus girls album. So adorable. Definitely worth the $4.99 on this one. So glad I found it. And then I got this one, which I do have the um, kit that I got for $2.99. That was originally $9.99. The paper crafting kits. This one's Little Safari, which I love because it's not... It can go either way from boys or girls. It can go both ways. It's got, you know, greens and blues and yellows and orange instead of all pink for girls and all blue for boys. And this is the one I was uh, talking about with these stickers that I could possibly use with it. Especially this elephant. It looks just like this one. So I think I can use some of these in with it. And possibly this one. I don't know. These ones are a little bit different. But it could be like the mommy elephant and the baby elephant maybe. I don't know. Well, but, and I and why it looks weird. It looks like a daddy. Uh, it looks like a daddy. A daddy lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's grown up. It's not. It's not a baby cub. But um, yeah, let's do a flip through. It has eighty sheets, twenty designs, four of each, for only four ninety nine. This is the thinner paper, just like the paper that are in the kits. Um, this was one of the papers that was in it. It says "Oh baby" over and over again with all the colors that are in the collection. Oh baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's some plants. And then here is that cheetah print again, but in green. And then these fun stripes. I love this whole like watercolor look to it. I love it. I think this might be one that was in the kit. And then all these adorable animals. These would be also fun to punch out or fussy cut out. Um, here's some spots. I have some green gingham. Love it. And I love this map. How they were able to find a map with all the colors that are in this um, this paper pad. And this one was in the kit. This um, two-tone orange diagonal stripes. And this, I think, was the one I ended up getting um, an extra one on. And then these really cute banners. And here I'm going to close up because each one kind of has a different design on it. See the blue one's got stripes. Um, these ones got spots. Um, these ones have spots. Uh, these ones got like little lines on it. The orange do. The yellow's got little spots too. It's really cute. I like these colors. Look at these fun plants. Tropical plants. Um, some spots. It's yellow with the orange spots everywhere. These like pastel colors. I'm pretty sure this one was in the kit as well. Hello little one. Our wild one. Oh baby. So cute. It's got that elephant. Yeah, it's the exact same. So yeah, and then the koala. So I can use that. It's fun design. And then some plaid going on. Um, this one's green with white saying, saying, Greatest Adventure. 
you are you are our greatest adventure over and over again and then these cute um raining clouds which with um like colorful raindrops and then these rainbows it's got red orange yellow dark green light green but no blue and purple but it has the same colors with the rain coming out all those same colors and then i guess this is kind of like that blue um gingham i think oh no there's one more this one has all the animals with those green and white stripes that one is in the the kit and then this one it's got all these triangles orange on orange so this is going to be a really fun um, baby album to do than the typical pink girls and blue boy album so and finding some things that'll go with it is really awesome as well and then I got this woodland one, woodland retreat, and I do have the um, kit of this one, and I thought it was just so adorable, and so I had to get it. And this was also just $4.99, originally $19.99, and it has 20 designs for each, so there's 80 sheets in this one as well, and it is thinner. I think that's why it was cheaper, but you get 20 more. But look at those little critters. And they do have, um, like, old book, you know, pages in it. So cute. And, like, these clouds, they got stripes. And this one's got the little pages as well. It is just so adorable. It is different than normal woodland ones. It's got these, like, bright, bald colors against the black and white. And it's just, it really pops out. Here are all the colors on the book pages. But I'm kind of mad because this was the last one, but like you see this crease here so somebody was going like this and it kind of like got into all the pages i hate it when people do that but it was the only one there so i end up getting it but there's the stripes and then here are all the bears and they even got like little fishies and bumblebees and it's on this like brown um like square like um what am i trying to think of graphite paper and then this is some really cute grass and it's on that same type of background paper with the grid. And then this is blue and it looks more cream. Let me see. Yeah, it's on like a cream color with this light blue stripes with the clouds. I love this. And the um, clouds have some texture too. It almost looks like fabric look to it. Yeah, let me zoom in. Can you see the texture to it? really cute and then here is some red wood grain which you don't see all the time uh, see it's got that bent there it's driving me nuts and then here is some colorful chevrons it's like in rainbow it has all the colors that's going on and then this has a bunch of writing like from a book but it's in some kind of different language not in English does anybody know any of those words? Is it Spanish? I don't know. And then look at these adorable skunks. It's on green striped paper, green on green. And I love these ones that are hanging on the flowers. It reminds me of um, Flower in uh, Bambi, the skunk's name that was Flower. And then these fun polka dots with all the colors. It's got blue uh, background with the teal stripes. And then it's got some of those circles with that um, book pages in it. These would be fun to punch out too if you need some embellishment and then put things on it and whatnot. Or, you know, for a little spot to write on. There's so many things you can use these spots for. And then some more background in this wood grain. And then I love this one. This one is like screaming fall for me. It has all the, you know, orange and greens and reds and yellows and browns for all the leaves. And then on that um, writing, that page book page background and then uh, it kind of looks like red and white stripes and then these tree stumps which has the pages you know in them which is really cool isn't that cute I like that and then these fun chevrons and then here's the um, background again but with different green trees and pine trees so cute I like all those greens and they look simple, like they've been doodled, you know. And then some birch trees on some brown background. And 
look at all these silly owls and they got a couple little birds in here and it's got that um grid background again they are just so silly but cute at the same time this would be fun to fussy cut a couple of these out as embellishments especially these little birds to like put on top of your page so cute and you can make these kind of like angles it looks like they're flying and then this looks like black and cream stripes stripes always come in handy look at these ones they got hedgehogs they got birds they got moose they got owls and bunnies it's just so adorable and it's got um some mountains in here and all the different trees and it does have the um grid background but this time it's blue here let me give you a little close-up but see how they're not completely solid they got some little textures on them they're just so adorable so so cute that's it for that one but um and one of my last hauls from hobby lobby i got a lot of uh wood embellishment and um which were these ones which would go with it perfectly like i got this bear you know the owl this raccoon and the fox that'll go with it and like all these wacky ones which i think will go with it <laughs> remember the raccoon we thought he was sick because he's green <laughs> yeah that that that's hilarious um, another fox which really goes with this whole thing going on a turtle um another owl i watched it. a mushroom mm -hmm. a beaver a bear oh, no. and a squirrel yeah, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be using that with these oh, albums yeah. and then after I got all that stuff that's when I went back trying to find the paper pad to go with this one and I couldn't find it I think because I was looking for it with this cheetah on it, and I think it was the one that was like called llama something llama I can't remember but um I think that was the collection that went with this and I was trying to find it and that's when they announced that they were now closing that it was eight o'clock so um I hemmed hauled back and forth through this one and I didn't grab it the first time and I'm grabbing it the second time and I'm glad I did. Um, this one is called Painted Petals. So I ended up finding this one instead of the one that I went back for. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I ended up getting this one. It's got a lot of purples in it. And these flowers are all like watercolored as well. And this one was originally $21.99 for $5.49 and it's got 20, de 20 designs, three of each. So that makes it 60 sheets. And this was um, 2018, so it is a few years old. But I did like all these purples on this um, black and white stripes. And it does have some texture to it. It's a little bit thicker, but it's not necessarily cardstock per se. But it is nice. I like the little splatters here. I like the feeling of it. So it's pretty much all plants in purples and pinks, which you don't always see a lot of times it's always like pink and teal. Some fun like checkers going on, lots of flowers, uh, purple leaves, or it actually kind of looks like feathers too, depends which way you want to take it. Some more pretty flowers. And this one's on black. That's really pretty. It almost looks like it was done with chalk. <laughs> and then some black polka dots. Which I think this was in another one that I showed. I can't remember which one though. And some pink. It almost looks like tulips kind of. On a light blue. Kind of like a minty color background. Some dark colored flowers, um, painted uh, diagonal stripes, bunch of flowers. I love all the little paint strokes to it. This one's really pretty. Pink with the white spots. Ooh, look at this one. Those are really pretty flowers. Kind of looks like daisies. Ooh, and I love this one. Look at these leaves. Definitely gives me that tropical vibe, kind of, jungle feel. And I love the painting to that, the strokes to it. Love that. Um, more flowers, kind of looks like a valley full of flowers. And then more flowers. Fun little design in black and white. Some small flowers. 
And that one kind of has like a light pinkish um, color. And that's it for that one. So it's not bad. It's something different. But that one was called Painted Petals. And finally, that is everything that I end up getting at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, I was bummed out that I wasn't able to find everything that I wanted. Um, I did want to get that um, beach theme one that was the 8x8. Eight eight. I was like really, really hoping to find that one. And um, I was hoping to get some of the uh, Primo Marketing because I love their paper. But those were there was none at all. And um, I was hoping to get some more... Um, more 8x8 and more 6x6 but and now um, I was looking for the boho one of this because um, I know that one had some cut aparts in it which would have been great to make albums because I do have the craft kit for that one but with what I was able to find I'm pretty glad for that kind of price and everything so I have some serious albums to make I have so much stuff to do in such short amount of time so um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. Talk to you later, everybody. Have a great day. And, and I will help Mama on all of her videos. <laughs> yes, you do, bud. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you on like the next video, I think. <laughs> okay.